This is the Apple Watch Series 9, but I wouldn't blame you if you mistook it for the Series 8. That's because the Series 9's biggest changes are invisible that includes double tap a new gesture for performing certain actions by tapping your thumb and index finger together. Siri is also getting a speed boost now that it can process certain requests on the device itself instead of relying on the internet. That means you'll also be able to ask Siri health-related questions, which should make it easier to sift through all of the data your Apple Watch collects. The new ultra-wideband chip inside the Series 9 makes it easier to find your phone with your watch. These changes are intended to make the Apple Watch easier to use. That's critical for a smart watch because every extra tap and swipe on a screen that small can feel like a burden. The Apple Watch Series 9 also doesn't have everything on my wish list. For example, I would still love to see the Apple Watch Ultra's action button arrive on the regular model and more health metrics saying that recovery would also be helpful. The Apple Watch Series 9 is ideal for those upgrading from an older Apple Watch like the Series 6 or earlier. Features like double tap the faster Siri performance and the ability to track down your iPhone more precisely do add some convenience to the Apple Watch, but they aren't enough to justify an upgrade if you already have a recent model Apple rarely adds new gestures. The idea behind double tap is to make it easier to control the watch while your other hand might be busy. Perhaps when you're walking the dog doing the dishes or carrying shopping bags, double tap triggers the primary action in an app or notification. This means you can dismiss a notification plus Spotify or start and stop your timer without having to tap your watch. This is just a preview and not the final version of the feature. It's hard to test its accuracy just yet. But my bigger concern about Double Tap is that it can feel awkward to get used to. We've spent years being conditioned to tap, swipe, and speak to our devices. But the gesture of tapping your index finger to your thumb is a bit new to most people. The Apple Watch, the new chip inside the S9, means certain Siri queries can be processed on the device rather than in the cloud, speeding up Siri's response time that includes requests that don't require pulling an answer from the internet, such as starting a workout or setting timers and alarms. Set a timer for 5 seconds, I would say that was pretty fast. Health data points in Apple's health app. It sometimes takes a couple of taps to find the information I want, such as my exercise minutes. So being able to ask Siri could make things a lot faster and more convenient. And second, I'm glad to see Siri playing a bigger role in the Apple Watch on a device like the watch that's small and not ideal for long interactions. There's a big opportunity for Siri to shine. The Apple Watch Series 9 has a second generation. Ultra-wideband chip, which means it's easier to find your phone using the Apple Watch instead of just pinging the watch, you'll now see an estimate of how far away you are pointing you in the right direction. It's pretty much like locating an AirTag, but it only works with the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro. So what do you think of the Apple Watch Series 9? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to follow 5M Tech for more Apple coverage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.